Brick Chick here with a tutorial on how to make a really cool realistic looking Lego fire pit. There's like some nice stone detailing on the outside using those new mason brick pieces. And there are some logs and flames in the middle. And it is minifigure scale. It's the right height for my Brick Chick minifigure. And it's also really easy to make. So let's get started. Alright, here are the pieces that you will need to build the fire pit, but keep in mind that you can substitute other pieces for these pieces if needed for you to build this, and you can use whatever color pieces that you would like. So, I'm using one plate, like it can be a plate or a base plate, and then you also need five studs, two, one by two plates, five, one by two jumper plates, and then you will need 14 one by 2 smooth tiles. I'm using 8 in light gray and 6 in dark gray, but you can use whatever colored pieces that you would like. And then you will need 7 one by one round bricks, 6 one by 2 profile bricks, and then you can use, you know, however many flames that you want. I'm using two smaller ones and one large one. And you can pause the video to collect those pieces now. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my mason bricks, and then I'm going to take my six of my one by two smooth tiles, I'm going to place a smooth tile on top of each one of the mason bricks, like so. Like that, and now I'm just going to set those aside for a minute, and now I'm going to start making some of my logs. So I'm going to take two one by one round bricks, stack them on top of one another and place a stud on top and I'm going to make another one you guys can make as many or as little logs as you want you can make different sizes, you know, this is just what I want to do so now I'm going to set those aside and now I'm going to make even more logs, I'm going to place a one by one round brick on top of a stud and place a flame in there and I'm going to be using two of those and then I'm going to take a one by one round stud and place a one by one round brick on top. And then I'm going to take one of these big flames because this is going to be like the in the center, you know, the big flame in the middle. And then I'm going to set that aside. And now I'm going to bring in my big old plate here. And I'm going to start like laying out, you know, the jumper plates and smooth tiles to place everything on. So I'm just going to place one of my two smooth tile there. And then a 1x2 jumper plate there. And then another 1x2 smooth tile. And then a jumper plate. And then another 1x2 smooth tile. And then I'm going to do that same pattern, but I'm going to skip two studs. So I'm going to do it right here. Like so. And then in the middle, I'm going to take a jumper plate right there in the center. And then I'm going to take two, one by two smooth tiles, one there, and one there. And then I'm going to take two, one by two plates. I'm going to place one on the top there and one on the bottom. So you should have something that looks somewhat like this. So now I'm going to bring in all of these brick assemblies that I made here. And I'm going to start by placing one here, so that, you know, the stone details facing out, and one across from that. And then this part's a little bit tricky, but if you follow along, it's easy. So you're just going to place this so that that little, you know, round part there goes inside the hole in the jumper plate. And then you're going to do that with the other one. And then I'm going to make it so that these meet right there. So you have kind of a cool, like, you know, a little bit of a squished hexagon shape going on. And I think it just looks really cool and it's different from the other fire pits that I've made. So I'm just going to do that on the other side too. So I have something that looks like this. And then I'm going to bring in this cool center flame assembly that I made. I'm just going to place it in there. You can angle it. You know, do whatever you want. You can customize this. I'm just showing you how to make a basic fire pit. You can add your own cool touches, you know, whatever you want. Then I'm going to bring in these bigger logs that I made. I'm just going to, you know, kind of place them in here and make it look realistic. And then I'm going to bring in these smaller logs with the flames. And I'm just going to kind of put them in there near the fire 
you know, look like they caught on fire. So, now you guys know how to make a really cool, realistic looking Lego fire pit that is very easy to make and I think, you know, would add some character and detail to any backyard, park, or campground. And like I said before, it is minifigure scale. So, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out and thank you for watching.